Hey guys, Gina here. I am going to make a layout for you today and I'm going to see if I can remember how to do this because it's been so long. I want to apologize for that. It's just been a crazy time uh, around my house. Summer tends to get a little bit crazy around here with everything that we have going on. So I'm starting this layout with these rub-ons from Basic Gray and I really, they're from the red uh, what, hipster. Um, they're fuzzy rub-ons uh, from the hipster collection from Basic Gray and I thought I wanted to make a background using a bunch of those rub-ons and I was going to do that on this uh, that is the Pink Paisley Hello Sunshine Rain Boots. Is that honeycomb pattern with the, uh, that white pattern with the, it's, it's like a honeycomb pattern or a punchinella pattern. And it has a few of them um, filled in in different colors there. You can see it sitting on top of that blue cardstock. And I thought I wanted to make like a very graphic textual text based background on that white um, sort of paper with those fuzzy rub-ons, but these are the worst rub-ons I have ever used in my life. I don't know if there's a technique to them that I'm not aware of or what, but as you'll see, I'm going to struggle in a bit with those rub-ons. It's terrible. So I, I went back and forth, um, as you saw there, for a couple of minutes trying to figure out what I wanted to back my photos with, and then I realized that I was going to gut that uh, blue that dark blue navy cardstock that came in one of the kits recently I, I pulled all my kits apart from the last couple of months because I hadn't used them and so it's easier for me if I pull them apart and put them in my stash to get them used than to keep them in kit form which is probably one of the reasons why I shouldn't subscribe to kits at all um, so like I said I'm gonna cut all these rub-ons up and I really wanted to make this text kind of graphic backgrounds on top of this sort of honeycomb or punchinella paper and I decide against that as soon as I try to rub that awesomeness on so um, in order to separate the layers of my paper from that white background because I'm gonna use a I'm gonna use yellow this yellow, uh, yellow chevron which is from fancy pants nautical and it's the sale paper um, as my background of course I'm gonna put that paper so I'm just layering that one piece of paper on that blue card stock to give it like of a border and there's that um, chevron that I was talking about and I'm noticing that the chevron sort of fades into that white paper since they're both very light so I'm gonna try to figure out what I'm gonna do with that and I think about layering all these things and I'm pulling those um, those three by four cards that you see there are from simple stories they're from uh, let me see there's uh, what do they call them? Snap 3x4 cards, and that's the HIM collection. So here I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do. And I don't like that large polka dot against that um, background paper. So I think about taking that off, and I'm just going to fool around here a little bit with how I want the, back, the layout to set. And I know I want to use that awesomeness rub-on, but I am... And here's a brayer. So I want to use that awesomeness rub on, but um, I'm feeling like things are getting lost um, on the background paper. So what I'm going to do is create some separation between the background paper and my layers by using this American Crafts Chevron roller stamp. And um, this is a complete like shout out to Kitty Scrapper, Nancy, because she does um, much more uh, neat she, she's a, um, she creates backgrounds all the time with those roller stamps, um, background texture, and uh, so that's kind of an ode to her there. Um, to use that dark um, navy color to separate that white, mm, yeah, that white background from that yellow chevron paper. So uh, kind of a shout out to Nancy there. Um, hers looks much more organic and I don't know natural than mine does but anyway so um, I didn't completely at this point let go of the idea that I wanted to create the text um, background with these rub-ons but as I'm gonna rub this awesomeness onto this layout I am going to get rid of that idea altogether I don't know like I said if there is a technique to these fuzzy rub-ons that I'm not understanding or what is going on but I could not get them to rub off that paper I don't care how hard I pushed or how much I shook the table or anything like that I could not get them off of the 
of the backing paper. So um, I'm going to use this one. I'm because I started. I'm going to finish, and I'm I'm actually going to stop the recording. You won't be able to tell, um, other than the fact that one minute. There you go. I stopped it because I was like, this is going to take forever. You guys don't want to see me rubbing a rub on forever. And it says awesomeness, and it was just painful. The rub on was just painful. So the picture in this layout is my brother. My uh, sister-in-law posted this photo of him on this motorcycle on Facebook. And I thought for sure that there was no way that he bought a motorcycle. Like, I don't know. He's too much of a klutz for a motorcycle, if you know what I mean. Um, but, uh, yeah, he did. So uh, I wanted to make a layout to uh, to describe, um, just to document that he bought this motorcycle and my reaction to the fact that he um, bought this motorcycle. And that oh boy uh, 3x4 card there sort of sums up my reaction to the whole thing. So um, I layered a couple of those 3x4 cards there to create some... Um, yet I layer them to create some layers how about that so I'm going to cut that oh, oh boy paper um, card down a little bit and I'm going to use this orange one because I had the orange and the awesomeness so I wanted to pull some orange down into this there's orange on that that dark navy blue card with the saying on it as well so here are some snap um these are the which ones are those that is the stickers, snap stickers, also from the hymn collection. And there's that uh, little thumbs up there that I'm going to use. And I'm going to use this little potty person, um, this little dude. And I'm going to pop him up on that Navy card. That Navy card says, it takes someone with serious talent to be this awesome. And even though um, my first reaction to my brother getting a motorcycle was, oh, brother. I mean, really. Um, it is kind of awesome. Uh, so I'm going to use uh, that badge there. That is from Fancy Pants. And it's As You Wish Flare. And it says, happiness is the journey, not the destination. And I really felt like, you know, you get a motorcycle, you go out riding on motorcycle, that kind of thing. It really is, you know, the journey to get where you're going. So when he um, lived, this he, he just um, moved from Louisville to um, Georgia. He changed duty stations. So... Uh, but when he was in Kentucky, he had a long commute. So I really thought talking about the destination, you know, the journey to get to work um, was better. I flirted with the idea of using these uh, acrylic, are they acrylic? Acetate, there we go. Acetate stars that came from um, Studio Calico, but uh, they weren't showing up well enough on the layout for me, so I didn't like them. Here's a little uh, circle from L Ellie, uh, Ellie Studio, the Cameron collection, and I'm eventually going to use that little uh, orange circle there to put the date on. I used a couple of these icon stickers. One says too cool, the other one says good times up there in that little cluster in the upper right hand corner there. I'm going to pop that uh, little yellow, uh, it's orange Gina. I told you I forgot how to do this. Uh, that orange circle up on some pop dots. This, um, I have that little clip taggy thing over there on the left that says yes. And then um, this is uh, Amy Tangerine, uh, what do you call those things? It, it was a sticker sheet that came in a Studio Calico kit back in August of 2013. And I hadn't used um, the sticker sheet at all. It's like those translucent stickers. And it says, this happened. So I made like a subtitle down here uh, along um, the left-hand side of the photo that says, yes, this happened. And uh, what am I doing here? So... I decide that I just need a little bit more texture on this layout, so I'm going to use these resin stars that came from Pink Fresh Studio. I bought them. Um, they they come in, Pink Fresh Studio stuff comes in the click kits a lot, but uh, I actually bought those. And now I'm going to go look for thickers, and I posted a photo on my Facebook page a while ago. Um, a couple of days ago, of my thicker collection, and wouldn't you know it, I don't have a darn set of navy thickers. Not one. Here, you'll see a couple of sets of thickers I thought I was going to use, but um, I have one set of navy thickers, and there you have glitter on them. And I didn't want to use glitter on this layout, so uh, that's where I'm off. I'm off looking for stickers, and I knew I had the jelly bean soup bead board, bean board um, alphabets in navy, so I'm off looking. Um, my my scrap room right now is in two different rooms because I'm moving from one room to another, and so things are kind of all over the place. So I knew in the 
general location where the where those um, jelly bean soup uh, alphabets were, but not quite. So I had to do a little bit of searching. I knew I wanted to title this layout Boys and Their Toys. And uh, of course, I'm going through these jelly bean soup uh, lay, uh, stickers just to find the uh, right letters. So there they all are. I'm going to use Simple Stories um, Snap Studio typeset to spell out the um, second part of that title that is, that is end there. And I'm just getting over a really bad sinus infection. I mean, I was sicker than I've ever been sick in my life. Um, so if my voice goes, I apologize for that. Because I had that fuzzy awesomeness um, in orange up there in the upper left-hand corner, I felt like I needed that texture somewhere else on the layout just to balance things out. So as much as I didn't want to play with those fuzzy rub-ons anymore, and in fact, as soon as this layout was finished, I threw the rest of them away, which is a big waste, but I wasn't fighting with them anymore. It was driving me nuts. So I just took two of the little arrows that came in that set and um, used them in two other locations around the layout just to bring that texture in somewhere else other than just where that awesomeness this is. So that was the end of my fight with those rub-ons and now they're in the trash can to go somewhere else. Uh, I'm putting the boys and the toys down with my Tombow Mono Multi Glue and I prefer to use that over um, glossy accents because it, it drives matte so there's no shine around your letters or anything like that. That's just a personal preference. Um, so I'm spelling out, I realize here I wanted to use this darker orange that came in the, the um, oh, that came in the Snap Studio stickers, um, but those weren't working. So I had to use the DIY stickers typeset, which was a lighter orange, um, but I didn't have a H or some other letter. I'm not sure which, what letter I was missing in those darker orange letters, so I couldn't um, use those. Maybe it was an I don't remember. Um, so I just moved those over a little bit because you guys know I don't use wax paper. So I constantly have to pick my letters up and put them back down. And I'm going to finish up putting this uh, title down like that. And I forgot to load my photo into my media center. So I'm going to have to do that so you guys can see just a close up of this. I'm going to add, I, I added a couple of words around the layout. Um, one said boom. I really like that. I think that was the only one actually. Yeah, just the boom up there above that, um, on that navy card. And um, I'm just adding the journaling there that just talks about how when Melly posted that photo, I couldn't believe that he bought a motorcycle. I'm sorry if the if the audio got a little mixed up there, I actually um, stopped the recording and then had to restart it. <laughs> oh, I used another one of those. Um, there you go. You can see it there. It says no way. I used another one of those little labels from um, the Simple Stories set. And so I have the boom and the no way there. And that is a look at the final layout. I um, hope I didn't bore you guys too much uh, with my first video back. And hopefully this will signify some more routine postings of... Um, of videos, but I'm not going to promise anything until summer's over. So I hope you guys are doing well. I'll talk to you next time. Take care. Bye.